from Sweet Dreams Bake Shop and welcome back to my channel where I make a lot of cake and cookie decorating tutorials as well as give a lot of baking business tips and we're back for another baking vlog and of course I would not just schedule one thing in a weekend but there are two major things happening so first of all we're preparing for my son's birthday which is this Sunday and I am notoriously late with his birthday we've celebrated in June and July multiple years so this year we're actually celebrating on his birthday we're going to prepare for a children's party and we're also preparing for the adult party later on in the day and also in about five hours I'm going to see myself on TV for the first time I am on cross-country cake off if you guys want to check that out I'll put it down in the description box below where you can see that even if it's already past the premiere you can still see it for free via the CTV app Okay, let's get started. So first thing that we're gonna do, okay, on that Friday. Well, now you have your party that day. <laughs> yeah, I know, okay. It's it's insane that I have, and I think this is why I didn't want to do a viewing party in the first place. But everyone was like, we have to watch it all together. <laughs> and I'm like, we have to watch me be weird on television <laughs> all together. So Friday, and this is the 26th. Yes. Okay, so the I tasks that we need to get done. I have the whole day off that you have school. Why don't you come to my house? Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. And just be here. And just get started. Yeah, do you want to prepare the opera cake stuff on that day? Ooh. Okay, that's a good idea. Should we, I'm gonna give each of us jobs. Oh yeah, prepare opera cake stuff. stuff. Which it means cake, ganache, and buttercream. Okay. <laughs> We're making cream puffs, which I will do. Uh huh. Is that something I should? I can prepare that one later. We're also making sugar cookies, right? Yes. Can you make the sugar cookie dough for me? Yeah. You want to roll it out and cut out the shapes? Yeah. Okay. This is gonna be so much. I'll work. probably only get to cutting and baking sugar cookies. On this day? Yeah. Cause what time do you get home from work? I'll be I'll. I'll skip the gym and I'll make it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Mom, you don't have work today. Not today, honey, but we're talking about later on. Um, I'll, I can make it about 3.20. And then what time does everyone come? 6.30. I gotta get the bacon out of the oven. First, we should make a list of all the things we're making for the kids' party and everything we're making for the adult party. Yes. Okay. So we need... 24. Let's just call our magic number 24. Okay. Um, yeah, because I think I'm, there's only like 10 children or something, but just in case. Sewer cake pops. I think I was going to do mini cakes on the cake pop. Oh, that'd be fun. Yeah. That cake feeds like cake. 100 people. So? <laughs> you want that much? Well, cake? I'll probably, yeah, I want the look, right? We need more on this table. Should I do a candy bar to make things easy? Ooh, I like that idea. Candy bar, I'm gonna have to make any of that Yeah. Stuff. Unless you want me to bust out my pastry chef marshmallow making skills. Oh, no, no okay. <laughs> that was a joke. And then adults. Where everything matters. <laughs> Adult kids party. Okay. So then for that, we're gonna do cream puffs. An opera cake. Should we do some sort of like... Some kind of fun tart? A tart? Like small tart. Filled with like... Like tartlets. Yeah. I don't have a tartlet pan. I do. Okay. Small tarts filled with kiwi. Ooh, fruit tarts. Yeah. Okay. Sure. <laughs> Kiwi? Yeah. Kiwi and grapes? Grapes? I don't know, I'm just thinking green. You can put like other fruits underneath the kiwi. So it has other flavors, but it looks Kiwi and strawberry? Great. Ooh, fun. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, I want something like, you know how the aerial party had madeleines? Mm -hmm. Which were like, a kind of like a quicker, like easy. A filler. Yeah, <laughs> an easy filler, but also like for people that don't want to dedicate to a whole dessert. Right. Mmm, what's something I can do? Pronunciates? 
I'm sorry. Okay. Sorry, I don't like eating those. But also, we can like, do a kind of cookie, but like, what can we do to like theme it? What are Ninja Turtles things? What? Ugh, I don't know. Pepperoni pizza. We already have pizza. That earlier. Could we utilize the pizza boxes again and put something else? Because I have so many pizza boxes. Can mm. we put something else in there? We can make Florentine rings. What are Florentine rings? <laughs> it's another kind of cookie that's like easy, but it's also not just, it's not like super boring. Mm -hmm. Well, because Mars event is a no for me. Yeah. They look gorgeous. Yeah, they look fun. See? Uh, oh. We can always just um, drizzle it with green. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Cheating. And we want to put that in a pizza box. Yeah. On this day, we can do a lot. Yes. This is the whole day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Finish opera cake. <laughs> okay. Then on the Sunday, this is where we, this is where it's go time. So... <laughs> The party starts at 11.30? Yeah. Like, That's so early. We we're going to be up till like... No. Three. If we have all day, like think about the times we haven't had all day. We literally worked like in the hours after. Right? Wait. When we did the mermaid When we did the stuff? mermaid party, we only had a half and half day. Oh. Yeah. Right. We never had full attempt <laughs> to wake Ali up. Okay. That's not just Okay, kids party. We have 24 pizza cookies in pizza boxes, 24 mini cake pops, mm -hmm. mini cake cake pops, mm -hmm. a three tier cake, and a candy bar. Mm -hmm. Second party, Nutella cream puffs, opera cake, small tarts, small fruit tarts, and Florentine ring cookies. Yeah. Okay. Friday is me by myself. Preparing everything. <laughs> and then me coming home and preparing what I can. Okay. Then me hiding under a blanket while we watch <laughs> the show. And then And then the next day we'll do what we can until we feel like we're too tired. Then we'll go and get the candy bar stuff and the balloons. Yeah. And then we'll finish up. <laughs> when do we eat on this day? <laughs> we eat what we can. Okay. And then on the Sunday, we basically like everything before we go to bed on the Saturday should be pretty done except for like some fun and details on the cake. And let's aim to be done so early that we can play Mario Kart before we go to sleep. She is ambitious. <laughs> okay. It's a <laughs> oh, no. As you can see, we really started off with a bang. And if you guys want to see what happened up until this point, I don't have any footage because Alia was alone by herself. So you can go and check out her video in the upper right hand corner. And I want to clarify, this was actually all Alia's idea. I was actually going to go really simple for this birthday, just going to do the three-tiered cake and then call it a day. But despite how tired Alia was during the Little Mermaid vlog, she actually wanted to do this again, but have more planning and time, which makes total sense. Alia had already done a lot up until this point. My one job that I tried to get done was all of the cake pop dough. The dessert I was most looking forward to was the opera cake, and this was Alia preparing the sponge for it. She had already baked it flat, and to be honest, when I walked in, I just thought that those were like baked on parchment paper. I didn't know that there was actual cake on there because it is so, so thin. But this is the magic of opera cake. It's layers and layers of deliciousness. One of the layers includes Italian meringue buttercream, and we flavored ours with Nutella. As all of this was going on, I was still working on my cake pops and I kind of messed up on the chocolate ones. My chocolate cake recipe is a lot more moist, so I underestimated that and added too much frosting. And so then I needed to cut more cake tops off of my cake so that I could incorporate more cake and fix the texture of the cake pops. So all I got done really were prepping the cake pops. Alia is still building the opera cake right now as we speak, but oh, she she's making buttercream. I lied. But my guests are coming in an hour for the party, so I gotta tidy this up. Driving me nuts. 
I'm gonna tidy it up and then I'm going to make my pork noodles that I'm going to make and I will show you more clips from the party. I have neglected my baking kitchen so much that I still needed to put away all of the things from past vlogs and past baking adventures. So that's what I'm doing in this clip here. Should have done this in advance. This before, how it's like literally the smallest kitchen and we've got all these like tripods set up and we're both yeah. trying to film at the same time in here. It's not looking perfect in here, but it is looking much better and now I can cook my noodles. Opera cake was one of the things that we needed to get out of the way so we could focus on everything else. So everybody was setting up their potluck dishes that they brought and Alia was still layering that opera cake. All of my friends are completely used to the amount of chaos that happens in my kitchen, so they were all just kind of setting up around her as per usual. In order to get those beautiful layers that are super clear and defined in the opera cake, you have to freeze each layer. So this was a process. It's not difficult to do, it just takes a lot of time. I'm so happy that I ended up having a viewing party because look at all that support. Party is over. That was super exciting being able to watch myself on TV. It was weird, exhilarating. I was super nervous about it, but now that it's done, um, it was really, really cool. So thank you for having me on your show, Cross Country Cake Off. Now it's time to clean and also do all the other tasks I haven't done yet that are scheduled for today. Right, Alia? Yep. <laughs> I'm so tired. That's not the attitude we like around here. <laughs> Usually our parties go quite late, but this one ended nice and early and on time, pretty much right after the show ended. Everybody went home, which was good news for us so that we could get all of these tasks done. So I'm rolling out the sugar cookie dough, going really simple with the shapes this time, just doing circles. And I believe Alia was making the ganache. Surprisingly, I wasn't feeling that exhausted and doing this task wasn't difficult at all. I've cut out sugar cookies hundreds and hundreds of times, so it was really just something I could do without even thinking. The other task that absolutely needed to get done before I went to bed was crumb coating and filling this cake. Whenever I'm making a fondant cake, I generally like to keep it in the fridge overnight. I have done it where you just put it in the fridge for like an hour or two and it's good to go but I find putting it in overnight just really helps solidify everything up and it makes it easier to stack later on as well. I went for a creamier ganache center this time. I think we did a two to one ratio, which I personally like for fillings. It's a little bit loose if you were to do that in a macaron filling, but I think it's perfect for a cake, especially if you have a buttercream dam. And pro tip, if you ever get slipping and sliding happening while you're trying to fill and then crumb coat your cakes, sometimes what I do is I just put the dam around and then I fill it and then I leave it, I don't crumb coat it yet, put it in the fridge for about 15 minutes till that solidifies a little bit and then go ahead and crumb coat it. One of the biggest changes we collectively made this time around was we were staying on top of the dishes. Not just washing the dishes when we were in survival mode, but really doing them right away. This is as good as it's gonna get right Right now, I still have a few more dishes, but those can go in the dishwasher once this dishwashing load is done. This is all ready to go for tomorrow, ready to be iced, and lots of room for cake and macarons. See you guys tomorrow. It is day two and the house is absolutely silent. My husband didn't even really stir when I woke up and the kids aren't even awake either. And of course, Alia isn't awake as well, but I think I'll give her more time to sleep. All right, so Alia still isn't up yet. As you guys saw, it's around 8.30. So I'm just getting breakfast ready for her. I'm going to empty my dishwasher and then I'm going to get started on the day once we've had breakfast. And we are having hash browns and avocado toast today. This is a really big side note, but this is only the second time I've worn this dress and the first time I wore it, I got a huge butter stain on it because naturally I was using butter because butter is my life and I don't know how to get it out. So do you guys know how to get butter stains out of dresses like this? If so, let me know down in the comments below. Here was our lovely breakfast. Alia opted just to have the caramelized onion on top on hers, and I had some smoked salmon. Macarons were a last minute addition that for some reason during the planning process we never thought of, so I knew that I wanted to get all of my egg whites separated before anything else that day. We do red, we should do red strawberry. Mm -hmm. And then the other band is purple. 
that like more Nutella. Sure. And or then Nutella. There's like a yellowy Yellow kind of orange. Caramel? Yeah. And then. Caramel. And what's the, the other color? color? Blue. Blue. Ganache. Yeah. What if you do? If you could do the filling of my um, pastry. For tomorrow, we said we were gonna leave, um, finish the tarts, mm -hmm. so we have to fill them with paste, mm -hmm. and do the fresh fruit, cut the opera cake, fill cream puffs. Do you think we could probably cut the opera cake today? We can, but then we need a place to store it. Oh, okay, okay, forget it. We get your kids to fold the pizza boxes. Oh, I didn't know you wanted ripped pizza boxes <laughs> for the cookies. <laughs> They'll be careful. It'll more than likely be like, Mom, I can't do this. Can you help me? <laughs> yeah, I don't think we need anything. I'm going to have my macarons setting. Okay. When they're setting, I think I'm going to work on the sugar cookies. Because okay. those take time to dry. Yeah. And we don't want a repeat of the mermaid cookies. No. <laughs> I want the sugar cookies to actually dry this time. Yeah. And let's get Jordan to fold the pizza boxes. Totally. <laughs> he could totally fill the pizza boxes. He'll be mad, but he'll, he'll fold them. Just kidding. My husband wasn't upset about folding the pizza boxes at all. He only gets anxious when I actually ask him to handle the baked goods themselves. I get asked all the time, what's your favorite thing to make? And I honestly think that right now, my favorite thing to make are macarons. I just love how satisfying the entire journey is. I remember when I first started making macarons and coloring them was so, so difficult. Now I can do four colors in one batch and it's so satisfying when it all comes out right. While I was working on getting those shells done, Alia was working on these little tartlets. I've never actually made them like that before, so definitely have to check out Alia's tutorial on those, which I believe will be coming up soon. When you're making macarons like this and you start folding in the batter, you start to realize if you were successful or unsuccessful in the way that you colored the macarons. So it's a very exciting moment. However, while we were researching again after the fact, we saw this really cute idea where you make all the shells green, but then you just do different colored buttercream in the center to represent the different Ninja Turtles. Yep, you should have seen the disappointment in our faces when we discovered that, but it's okay, I really liked our idea still because we're going to do the opposite of that. Different colored shells with just green buttercream in the middle. Now, a little tip, when you are making different colored macaron shells like this, you do have to move quickly because you don't want the batter to set for too long in these bowls because that's what leads to cracking. If you've ever had cracked macaron shells, it's because you're not piping it out fast enough. While I'm piping out the first color, it's really important to cover the rest with plastic wrap so that a skin does not form on that upper layer. Once that skin forms and then you have to reincorporate it back in, then it really creates these chunks in your macaron batter and you won't get that nice flat look that you're going for. I also highly recommend using a tip every single time. The bag that I'm using is actually a tipless piping bag, but I just find I can't get as beautiful of a rounded shape when I don't use a tip. For coloring all of my macarons today, I used a gel food colorant, but I will say that different gel food colorants react differently in macaron batter. For example, I get a slightly bit of a different texture from AmeriColor than I do Chef Master. I can't remember which one does which, but I do know that one of them makes the batter slightly, just ever so slightly more runnier. So when I pipe with that batter, I just don't fill up those pre-lined circles as much. It's very, very minuscule, but it does make a difference. And that way it keeps everything nice and uniform. This comes after doing it many, many times. So don't worry if you can't make that adjustment right away. It's kind of an intuitive thing. And as always, with everybody, this is going to happen. When you get to the last pan of your macaron batter, it is going to be looser, so you do have to watch that. Just as I finished up the macarons, Alia's tarts were all ready. Now those did need to set in the fridge to avoid any shrinkage, and these needed to sit out for a bit so that they could develop those beautiful feet. One task done for me-ish, which means, again, what? I get rewarded with more dishes! 
All right, the dishes are done for now. And now it's time to decorate the sugar cookies. While Ready? Alia continues to roll out the crackling. This is really hard. After the crackling was rolled out and put into the freezer for easier cutting, Alia began to work on her Florentine ring cookies. I had no idea what these were supposed to look like. We became very used to that sound interrupting all of our tasks, but when you have a lot of tasks on the go, you need to set timers. Sugar cookie decorating is one of the first things that I did. It was one of the first products that I ever sold. So it's starting to feel very therapeutic for me now. I feel comfortable doing it, but this was also super, super fun as well. Full tutorial coming up for these. I love the sound of the crunch. Unfortunately, I couldn't include more because there's way too much noise going on at my house. I remember when we first bought this house, it just felt like this island was huge. And now somehow we have filled it all up with desserts. And Alia was doing this while I was doing that. Mm. It's actually a lot thicker than I thought it would be. Yeah. Apparently in pastry school they teach you to pipe this out, but it looks way too thick to me, and Alia says that's the easier way. By the way guys, those Florentine rings are so, so delicious. I'm not a huge sugar cookie or shortbread fan, but something about the center of those caramelized cookies is awesome. It was definitely time for a cream puff break. That is an Earl Grey cream puff with raspberry. Oh, so, so good. I did make that. They are from Just Cakes. And they are the Florentine rings. Simple yet delicious. We did kind of miss it though. We should have dyed those Florentine rings green just to make it more Ninja Turtle-y. But I gotta say that personally, I find it more appetizing that it's just its natural color. These cookies weren't difficult to do, but there were definitely more steps to them, so I had to make all of these royal icing transfers as well. For these last four cookies, I was planning on doing one of each of the Ninja Turtles, but honestly, I didn't feel like dyeing four more colors, so I just decided to make all of the bands red. I was also going to pull up my projector so that the faces would be absolutely perfect, but again, to be expedient, I just decided to freehand everything. And I know what you're thinking, this looks painfully slow, and it is, and that's real-time piping. It's weird, but it doesn't feel that slow when I'm doing it, but because I'm so used to watching social media posts where everything is sped up, it also feels incredibly slow to me when I'm watching. This was still all on the same day, I just knew that we were going out soon, and I decided to get changed into something that wasn't stained with butter all down the front, even though I love that dress. All right, now it's time to go and do our shopping. Yes, we're gonna buy so much candy. Mm -hmm. A lot of candy. Oh, I should take a picture of the list. Okay, it's downstairs. We'll see you guys in a sec. Okay, we're now outside, ready to go on our adventure to buy all the candy and whatever else we Whatever floats about. our boat. <laughs> see you at the store. Need it. So what candies do you want to get? Anything that is in our colors. <laughs> Anything green and brown and purple. Brown? For the turtle shells. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I guess I was looking at the more like the primary colors. Ah, uh, so red. Kill for points. How many people are gonna be at the party? Not that many. So it appears they only have spoons and knives. Knives and spoons. Should we go with this color? Nope, because there's only knives. <laughs> what about red? That'll be kind of Christmassy. <laughs> no, let's go purple or blue. Yeah. Blue knives. knives. More blue knives. Oh my gosh. 
Oh my, what? But they only come in packs of spoons, forks, and <laughs> knives. <laughs> oh, purple. Is there purple? No. These are knives. <laughs> Ooh. These. These. Uh-huh. Or these. Either that one or the first one. We got our first candies. Fourteen. That doesn't fill nicely. You know what I mean? We got our candy. Um, That's what happens when you're ill-prepared. <laughs> Update, they have no Ninja Turtles stuff in the whole store, which is shocking. Um, so we haven't been able to find anything that's um, on brand, and we've been looking for all the colors that we want to, and they're always missing at least one color. Yeah. I found a fun little uh, birthday present for Landon, because he loves the Avengers, so it'll, it'll be a mystery. It's the only Ninja Turtle thing in the entire store, and it's on sale. It's just a photo prop frame. The color is orange instead of yellow? It's like a yellowy orange. Okay. We also found Ninja Turtle confetti. And ordinarily I would never purchase this, but it's the only thing that's going to bring everything together. Okay. Okay. My grand total. Okay, we have four bags from Party City of all the stuff. Now it's time to go to Superstore. Oh my god, you can't even see it. Superstore, and that's it. That's it. Wow. First thing on our list, which was not actually on our list. Grab this and call it a day. <laughs> we found green forks. Actually, didn't want to get a basket when we first came in because she was like, "Oh, I want to like overbuy. Like, I'm gonna buy too many things." She was like, I'm gonna buy too many things if I get a basket. So she wanted to carry everything. Now look at us. We have to go back for the basket because we can't carry anything. Well, well, well. Foxy's <laughs> Nutella and whipping cream? Yeah. I didn't go to the gym today, but I am getting my workout right now. Sunshine on this basket. Should I quickly run to the car and get our basket? Yeah. Thing? <laughs> okay, guys, time for my adventure. <laughs> Let's see what the total comes to. $54. Oh, $54. Okay, we just got all the grocery things that Except we needed. for whipping cream. Yeah, they, they were have out. Superstore is a huge store. For those of you that are not in Canada, it's ginormous. And they had like every selection of milk. They just didn't Except have whipping for whipping cream. cream. It was all completely sold out. Mm -hmm. All the little ones, all the medium sized ones, and all the large ones. So, so we're going to send Georgia to get it tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> um, now we just need to pick up some food for us. And then we have a cake to make. Yeah. And we need to refuel, reset, yes, make the cake. And the cake pops and fill the macarons. It's a lot of stuff. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> We had burgers and chicken strips for dinner, and I would normally film a little clip of that, but we scarfed it down. We were so hungry, and then we got straight back to work. Cake pops aren't Alia's favorite thing, and I always try to make it a goal that I will be decorating the cake pops, but I also work with fondant a lot more, which is not something that Alia does, so I focused more on the fondant cakes, and I knew she would knock it out of the park with the cake pops. And I think she had fun doing them because they were a little bit different than just your average cake pop. I could also be totally putting words into her mouth, so definitely go and watch her vlog to hear her side of it. I definitely want to use these cake boards again, and I want to remake these cake pops, but I want to do a completely different style, maybe even add a second tier to these little cake pops. I don't know, but either way, the creative juices are definitely flowing for me. After refueling, I definitely had a second wind, and I was feeling pretty good about this cake. There was nothing that went wrong with this cake at all, and it was coming along nicely. All right, so my cake is not fully done, but that's okay. I'm gonna finish up the other two heads tomorrow, finish up the number four in the center. That's pretty much all that's going on there. Ollie is just gonna finish up filling the macarons. Yeah. We're gonna go to bed, and I'm gonna wake up pretty early tomorrow. I don't know.
Oh, we're waking up as early. <laughs> See you guys then. All right, I just woke up. It's like 7.30 in the morning and I'm very stressed. This happened last night. It's because I did not have space in my fridge for, uh, for the cake pops. So, and it's a lot warmer in here than I thought it would be. So, uh, yeah, it's okay. We're just going to serve them as mini cakes. It wasn't a big deal, but I am sad. They looked so adorable on the sticks, but you know what? Not a huge problem. At least they still look like beautiful mini cakes. And I gotta tell you, I just needed that space away from my cake yesterday. Doing the actual cake itself was totally fine, but doing the characters just really exhausted me the night before. And yes, I am watching my episode again now that it can be fully streamed online. To be honest, I missed a lot of what was said the first time around because my friends were cheering so loudly. Landon, come here. Go, go for mom. What's Do you like it? Is that garage in the tunnel? They're not in that garage. They're just little heads. Sometimes my kids do get confused, and if they see a toy on the kitchen counter, they automatically think that I made it out of fondant or that it's some other dessert. Minus the Florentine rings, here are all the things that we made for the first party. Originally, we were going to have those mini cake cake pops for the first party, but because they were now just flat cakes and we didn't really have space for them on the table in that way, we decided to keep them home just to make everything easier for transport. There's always one part of the dessert table that is my absolute favorite, and I think these sugar cookies are it. How cute are they in these boxes? If you want to access these boxes yourself, do the same thing that I did. I will put them down in the description box below. And if you use my classic sugar cookie recipe, you're going to get that nice circle in there. Just make sure to measure your cookie cutter against the box so you're getting the right size. It took me forever to figure out what type of design I wanted to do for this Ninja Turtles cake. Because Ninja Turtles isn't as popular as say something like the Avengers, there wasn't as much inspiration. So I had very little to draw from. But I think my favorite part of this cake is definitely the bottom tier. I'm loving that kind of spray painted look. It's hurriedly getting the macarons in the box. I'm gonna really, really, really quickly eat breakfast and then we're off to the party. The car ride there wasn't that panicked, but boy, that cake, it's all real cake, so it was incredibly heavy. A cake like that would have totally been fine on the floor. That thing was not going to move, but unfortunately there was no room in the trunk and there was no room on the floor since we had to pack all of the other things, including the savory foods as well, so it was on my lap. Ali and I were very quick with the setup here. We had the party room for a fairly limited time and the guests were arriving very shortly, so we were moving quickly. Originally, when I had the candy bar idea in my head, I think I was thinking colored gumballs or colored candies, which does look really great. But then I thought about the fact that the kids were at a play place and we had some younger kids attending. So I didn't necessarily think that hands straight into the candy would be a good idea. So I decided to go with just wrapped candy. And these would serve as our goodie bags. Sometimes I go the little gift route. This time I went the edible route. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. And then of course it was time to cut the cake with my impeccably clean hands. And I'm cutting it this way because you get more even slices out of it. Party number one over and done with. Landon, did you have a good time? <laughs> Dito, did you have a good time? Yeah. What was your favorite part? Flying with no one left in and bouncing in the, fighting in the bouncy castle. Oh, that is a good time. So we only have about two hours until the guests arrive for the second party, the adult party. It's basically people that I couldn't really bring to the play place because they charge per adult even though they wouldn't have had fun necessarily at that play place so I invited them over this time and Landon will get to open his presents. We're also putting out all of the fancier more refined desserts. So i am just got some bubble tea and I picked up a bunch of dinner stuff and I'm going to get that going.
Despite being rushed and not even having started the shoe pastry at all, I was actually feeling pretty calm during this point. Yes, there were lots of things to get done, but it was really just family coming over afterwards, and they all know the chaos that ensues when I am making things like this. If you watch my videos a lot, then you probably remember the one time that I really, really messed up the shoe pastry. So ever since then, I've always been very, very nervous about my shoe pastry. Luckily, it turned out beautifully. And yep, that's me scooping the pastry. It's so expedient, and because I'm putting that crackland on top anyway, any beautiful piping that I might be able to do with those wouldn't really show up because the crackland covers it all. I learned so much from watching Alia do all of her pastry stuff. She's actually lining every single pastry with a little bit of white chocolate on the bottom. This prevents the tart shell from getting too soggy from the pastry cream and from the fresh fruit. Genius. I was supposed to order a special frame for the opera cake, but I never got around to it, so we ended up doing it in just a regular pan, and we were so happy when this came out, and that first cut was so satisfying. The butter cream, right? The but, lighter part? Yeah, nothing else says season. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? I just love opera cake. Despite the fact that the cracklin had been in the freezer overnight, I had just taken it out and it was already starting to melt a little. It was really, really hot that day, so I ended up having to work very, very quickly. Now, honestly, if the cracklin is a little oblong, it's not going to make too much of a difference, but it's so much more satisfying when it's those perfect circles. And I like to make my cracklin very thick. I should mention that Alia brought her entire toolkit with her, so she was measuring things and using tools that I have never seen in my house. Now that she's worked in my kitchen a few times, she knows the uh, shortfalls of my kitchen, so she brings those tools and makes sure that she has them. And in between each layer to get the opera cake nice and perfect, she has to wet it with a hot knife every once in a while. And I was so happy that we had these green cupcake liners. I just had them laying around and it was the perfect thing to tie the whole theme together because let's be real, I wasn't really sure how to make that opera cake themed. I know I've been going on and on about the opera cake, but the fruit tarts were also the star of the party. People loved them and they disappeared. I also did a little reconstruction of the same cake, just added on some piping on the top and moved the candle so we could utilize it for this setup as well. Hope you guys enjoyed that vlog. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you can be part of the Sweetie Fam. Right now, I'm uploading weekly, so make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. Also, be sure to comment, request, or ask a question. I love hearing from you guys. Bye!